what was your thoughts on the robo taxi rollout like are you going to try one soon did you go did it go how you think it was going to go how are you feeling about the robo taxi launch Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as, as we're recording this, Elon literally right before mentioned the delivery, no safety driver on the highway, no teleoperator intervention. Uh, I think they said it went 72 miles an hour on the highway. I think it was pretty well telegraphed how they were going to roll out. Um, and again, this goes back to kind of what I was saying earlier. It's like autonomous, I think is the future. I think the question is now how quickly can they scale? Uh, I think people underappreciate the cost aspect of it as well relative to either Waymo or just Uber. And so it's like when they scale, it's going to be incredibly difficult from the research that, you know, Tasha and Daniel and our team have done for anyone to compete with them. And so, you know, extremely, extremely excited, uh, going to And try and go down to Austin, but maybe the cars will come to me before I get to Austin. <laughs> so do you think, are you, cause what I keep thinking through is like, is this just a beta launch or is it really a rollout? Like what's the cadence of the rollout from here? Because I think that's like so much is hinging on that. So I'm curious if you have any thoughts on that. Yeah. And I think, so Elon rightfully, I think is very aware that both he and Tesla are lightning rods. And so it's like safety is so important, right? It's like a Tesla catches on fire or is in an accident and it's everywhere in the news, despite the fact that they're safer and less likely to catch on fire than everything else. And so, you know, you have to be extremely safety conscious because the first incident, which at some point is going to happen, um, is going to be plastered everywhere. And so, you know, I think It's like people want everything all at once, but that's actually a likely backfire in terms of just the political reality of how things work. And so, yeah, it's like, would it be great if there is a launch and there was a hundred cars and all of that? Yes, but it's like, then what happens? And so, you know, we were actually discussing this in brainstorm today. It's like at a certain point in time, they're gonna have to make the decision to change their risk profile. Right. And it, it's actually, you know, tying it back to SpaceX, the risk profile for SpaceX is like, go, go, go. Right. We're going to explode rockets. We're going to learn from them and we're going to iterate quickly. And it's like, OK, that's fine. They explode a rocket and the media says, see, SpaceX is terrible. Right. It's egg on their face. They're never going anywhere. And they can shrug it off and they just keep going until they prove it right. That's not really the case with autonomous cars. It's like if they clip another car or God forbid, injure a human, then it's like, that's not, it's, it won't be, you know, there will be tons of political pressure to stop it in its tracks. And so right now, you know, this is the dynamic. At some point they're going to say, like, we have the data, we know it's good enough, which already it's safer than other human driven cars, but we're ready and we're going to start scaling it out. Um, you know, we think this is in the next year. that this is going to happen, right? Elon said this himself as well, scaling to millions of cars by the end of next year. Uh, and so it's really just waiting, waiting excitedly for that moment. Yeah. And it's like, fingers crossed, nothing happens. And I keep thinking that metric of like, how many mo human monitoring hours do you need per ride? Because right now it's like you have one human in the car, plus you probably have people at HQ in the war room monitoring it. And so eventually you'll take the person out of the car, but you'll still need one person in the war room monitoring five, then 10, then 50. But like, it's still scaling up tens of hundreds of thousands, like It's just going to be incremental. But anyway, I'm I'm so stoked. So Yeah, maybe maybe we can do a whole a whole separate episode on the on the RoboTaxi. Yeah, on RoboTaxi.